सो गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू सकल विजय यूट्यूब चैनल सो नाउ वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन ट्रिग्नोमेट्री रिलेटेड टू द आंध्र प्रदेश एंड तेलंगाना टेंथ बोर्ड ओके सो टुडे वी डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम्स प्रॉब्लम्स सेट वन प्रॉब्लम्स सेट वन प्रॉब्लम्स even this may be useful for cbse also icse also all the boards okay kutti welcome aishwarya pavitra bharat very good morning so first question if phi cos theta equals to 7 sin theta find the value of find the value of 7 sin theta plus phi cos theta upon phi sin theta plus 7 cos theta okay this is the question this is the question very good morning kutti i think you are from kerala right so if phi cos theta is equal to 7 sin theta sin theta find the value of 7 sin theta plus phi cos theta upon phi sin theta plus 7 cos theta so we need to find out ah uh, this is for 10th class this is for 10th class even it may be useful for even intermediate basics also okay phi cos theta equals to 7 sin theta given and you are asked to find out 7 sin theta plus phi cos theta Upon phi sin theta plus seven cos theta. See the solution now. We can do like this. First, given data right now. This is given. This is given. Given. Phi cos theta equal to seven sin theta. Bring sin theta this side. Phi that side. so this can be rewritten as cos theta upon sin theta equals to 7 upon 5 so now we need to find out this one so okay chennai very good very good welcome welcome so now see consider consider this 7 sin theta plus phi cos theta upon phi sin theta plus 7 cos theta now divide both numerator and the denominator denominator by sin theta let us see what shall we get it n vijay welcome so this equals to 7 sin theta Plus phi cos theta upon sin theta right now divided by phi sin theta plus seven cos theta upon sin theta right now. 
so now the next step you might have expected you might have expected see the 7 sin theta plus y cos theta by sin theta is equal to you can write now 7 sin theta upon sin theta plus phi cos theta upon sin theta okay by similarly we can write phi sin theta upon sin sin theta plus 7 times cos theta upon sin theta. Here sin theta, sin theta gets cancelled. Sin theta, sin theta gets cancelled. Here we have 1, 1. So this can be written as like this. 7 plus 5 times cos theta by sin theta value we need to write. This is 5 plus 7 times cos theta plus sin theta value. See, cos theta by sin theta is 7 upon 5. 7 upon 5. 7 upon 5. So we can write this is equal to 7 plus 5 times 7 upon 5 upon 5 plus 5 times 7 upon 5. Here 5 1 ja 5 cancel. We have 7 plus 7 upon here LCM is 5. 5 5 ja 25 plus 5 7 ja 35. This we can write 14 upon 35 plus 25 is 60 upon 5. So 5 1 ja 5 12 ja. 14 by 12. So it can be further simplified. 2 7 ja. 2 6 ja. So answer is 7 upon 6 is the answer. 7 upon 6. 7 upon 6. Sorry, sorry, mistake here. Actually, we have. I did calculation error. So, the, it need to be rectified. So, now you check it now. This is equal to 7 plus 5 times 7 by 5. 5 plus 7 times 7 upon 5. This is equal to 5, 5 gets cancelled. 7 plus 7 upon LCM is 5, 5, 5 are 25, 7, 7 are 49. This is 14 upon 49 plus 25 is how much? 74 upon 5. This we can write 14 by 1 into 5 upon 74. Just you simplify now. You simplify. So this will be C 2 7 ja 14 2 3 ja 6 2 7 ja 35 by 34 is the answer 35 by 34 is the answer yes so you can check it now here we can write 7 upon 5 7 upon 5 Vaishnavi now you can check it Nandini, welcome. Okay, second problem. Second problem. In triangle ABC, in triangle ABC, Angle B equals to 90 degrees. BC is equal to 5 centimeters. BC is equal to 5 centimeters. BC is equal to 5 centimeters. 
and AC minus AB equals to 1, 1, evaluate, evaluate means find, evaluate 1 plus sin C upon cos C. So you need to find this value. Fine, Uttam. Fine. Okay, now you solve it this one. Till then I shall have a small break. First, draw the triangle ABC. Just write down the BC value 5 centimeters and AC minus AB is there. Apply Pythagoras theorem. Then you will get AB and AC values with the help of AC minus AB. After that, from the triangle, find sin C and cos C. Substitute in 1 plus sin C upon cos C. You will get the answer. Amit Boy, welcome. C solution given in triangle ABC angle B equals to 90 degrees BC is equal to 5 centimeters AC minus AB equals to 1. This is given. So, those who are appearing for the board examinations, so my dear children, the given data must be written in the examination. If you write the given data itself only, you will be awarded the cent percent marks. So, you need to write this step. Next, triangle. So this is A, B, C. This is C angle. Okay. Here B, C is equal to 5 centimeters is given. So using Pythagoras theorem. Using Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. So what does Pythagoras theorem state? It state that AC square equals to AB square plus BC square. Okay. Since AC minus AB is equal to 1, AC can be written as 1 plus AB. That means instead of AC, substitute 1 plus AB. So we get 1 plus AB whole square equals to BC is known 5 ab square plus phi square you can write. If you see the left hand side, the left hand side is in the form of a plus b whole square formula. Apply, you see a plus b whole square formula. a square 1 square plus 2ab, 2 times 1 times ab ab plus AB whole square equal to AB square plus 25. See, 1, 1 square is 1 plus 2AB plus AB square equal to AB square plus 25. This, if you take AB square this side, that becomes negative. AB square, AB square gets cancelled. Take 1 that side. So you get like this, 2AB equals to 25 minus 1, that is 24. So obviously AB is equal to 24 by 2, that is 12 centimeters. Now AB value is known, this is 12 centimeters. But with the help of this AC we can find out. 
AC equals to 1 plus AB that is 1 plus 12 is 13 centimeters is 13 centimeters 13 centimeters so from this triangle see find the respective values we need to find out yes Now, so we need to write uh, sin C and cos C values from this triangle. Sin C right now. What is sin C from this triangle? Sin C equals to opposite side is AB upon hypotenuse AC that is 12 upon 13. Find cos C. What is cos C? Cos C is equal to adjacent side that is BC. Hypotenuse is AC. So 5 upon 13. But we need to find out uh, what is the value actually 1 plus sin C by. So now we need to evaluate 1 plus sin C upon cos C. So 1 plus uh, sin C is 12 upon 13 upon cos C is 5 upon 13. So now 13 is the LCM in the numerator. 13 1 ja 13 plus 12 upon 5 upon 13. So 13, 13 gets cancelled. 13 plus 12 is 25, 25 upon 5. So 5 1 ja 5 5 ja. So answer is 5. This is the answer. Nija check your answer. What's your doubt? <coughs> Amit. Okay. See, using Pythagoras theorem, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. But AC minus AB is 1 given. So AC is equal to 1 plus AB. Instead of AC, 1 plus AB substituted. 1 plus AB whole square is A plus B whole square formula. 1 square plus 2 times 1 times AB plus AB square is equal to AB square. BC is equal to 5 centimeters. So 5 square, 25. So AB square, AB square gets cancelled. We have to 1 plus 2AB is equal to 25. Next step, 2AB equals to 25 minus 1. So that is 24. AB is equal to 24 by 2. That is 12 centimeters. Next, we have AC is equal to 1 plus AB. So AC is equal to 1 plus AB. AB is 12. So 13 centimeters. So now in the triangle, BC 5 centimeters, AB 12 centimeters, AC 13 centimeters. Find sin C and cos c. Substitute in 1 plus sin c by cos c, you will get the answer. Okay, let us move to the third question now. Third question. Third question.
if tan a equals to root 2 minus 1 show that show that tan a upon 1 plus tan square a equals to root 2 upon 4 root 2 upon 4 you try this question you try this question you try this question Just substitute root 2 minus 1. That's all. And simplification. You need to do. Okay. Solution given tan A equals to <coughs> root 2 minus 1. Now, we need to find out tan A upon 1 plus tan square a. This is equal to root 2 minus 1 upon 1 plus root 2 minus 1 whole square because tan a value is given that root 2 minus 1. Let us simplify this one. This equal to root 2 minus 1 upon 1 plus, this is a minus b whole square. a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So, root 2 square a square minus 2 times root 2 times 1 and plus 1 square. So, this is root 2 minus 1 upon 1 plus root 2 square is 2 minus this will be 2 root 2 plus 1 square is 1. This will be root 2 minus 1 upon 2 plus 1 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 minus 2 root 2. So, we need to simplify this one because we need to show that root 2 upon 4. So, that means this we can write like this root 2 minus 1 upon this 4, the 4 can be written as like this, 4 is equal to 2 into 2, again actually you write down 2 root 2 into 2 root 2, 2 into 2, 4 you will be getting, ok, 2 into 2, 4. Mm. Ok, now you write down like this, 
this 4 can be written as 4 can be written as 2 times 2 root 2 2 into 2 4 okay. otherwise uh, mm, okay 4 can be written as like this 2 root 2 times root 2 you check it what do you get root 2 into root 2 2 2 into 2 4 so this 4 can be written as 2 root 2 into root 2 minus 2 root 2 let us take 2 root 2 common so we have root 2 minus 1 upon 2 root 2 is common we have root 2 minus 1 root 2 minus 1 root 2 minus 1 gets cancelled we have 1 upon 2 root 2 1 upon 2 root 2 so now rationalize both numerator and denominator with root 2 so rationalizing 1 upon 2 root 2 multiplied with root 2 upon root 2 so root 2 into 1 root 2 upon 2 into this root 2 into root 2 is 2 so root 2 upon 4 hence it is fruit hence it is fruit hence it is fruit right question number 4 Question number 4. Let us move to the question number 4 now. If root 3 cot square theta minus 4 cot theta plus root 3 equals to 0 then find the value of find the value of find the value of cot square theta plus tan square theta then find the value of cot square theta plus tan square theta Okay, try this question. Try this question. How, how can you solve this question? What sort of procedure do you follow? Are you there? Nobody is chatting. Okay, Bharat. Any others?
Okay. Basically, I am from Hyderabad. Right. Solution. First, let us solve this equation. This equation is known as quadratic equation in cot theta. So, that means given root 3 times cot square theta minus 4 cot theta plus root 3 equals to 0. This is also called trigonometric equation also. In intermediate, you are going to study. Okay. So now first, how to, you need to factorize it. Root 3 into root 3. Root 3 into root 3, 3. This 3 can be 3 is a prime factor. 3 into 1, but you have negative 4. So minus 3 minus 1 right now. Minus 3 into minus 1, 3. So that, that means this minus 4 cot theta can be written as minus 3 cot theta and minus cot theta. Just split middle term and find the factors. Yeah, I know Telugu also. Right. Root 3 cot square theta. This middle term can be written as minus 3 cot theta and minus cot theta plus root 3 equals to 0. From the first two terms, let us take root 3 cot theta common. If you take root 3 cot theta common, you get cot theta minus root 3. Because root 3 into root 3, it becomes 3. Here minus 1 common, you get cot theta minus root 3 equals to 0. Now what shall we do? So now we shall take out. Yes, yes, yes. I speak Telugu too. So now cot theta minus root 3 common. If you take cot theta minus root 3 common, having been taken cot theta minus root 3 common out, we have root 3 cot theta minus 1 is the other factor equals to 0. So, okay. Uh, next, uh, we get like this. Cot theta minus root 3 equals to 0. Or you get uh, other case root 3 cot theta minus 1 equals to 0. So, take minus root 3 this side, the cot theta becomes root 3. Here, root 3 cot theta equals to 1. So, cot theta equals to 1 upon root 3. Actually, here, the two cases will arise. In the both the cases, we need to find out cot square theta plus tan square theta. This is the very Interesting question actually, I have been discussing difficult problems, very easy problems are there in your test book. If you solve these problems, easily you can do your test book problems, your test book problems. Telugu you cannot understand, okay, right. So now, let us consider case 1 now, case 1. In case 1, cot theta is equal to root 3. So, if cot theta is equal to root 3, we are able to find out tan theta with the help of tan theta means 1 upon cot theta. Obviously, it becomes 1 upon root 3. Now, we need to find out cot square theta plus tan square theta value. Cot square theta plus tan square theta. So, this equals to cot theta is replaced by root 3. So, root 3 square plus tan theta is 1 upon root 3. This is 1 upon root 3 whole square. Mere, it depends upon mathematical manipulations. Okay. Root 3 square is 3 plus 1 square is 1. Root 3 square is 3. Now, 3 is the LCM. 3 into 3, 9 plus 1. So, 10 upon 3. This is the case 1. So, now we need to consider Telugu, 
generally i have habituated to teach in english itself only telugu means it is very difficult to understand because in telugu also we speak uh, the mathematical terms in english itself only that's why only link language please try to understand amit right so now the case 2 we need to consider this one now case 2 let us consider case 2 so case 2 case 2 cot theta equals to 1 upon root 3 now we need to find out tan theta see as we have tan theta equal to 1 upon cot theta so 1 upon 1 over root 3 this can be written root 3 so now we need to find both the cases also same cot square theta plus tan square theta let us substitute respective values cot theta is 1 upon root 3 square plus this will be root 3 square so we get 1 upon 3 plus 3 here lcm is 3 1 plus 3 3 is 9 so 10 upon 3 in the both the cases answer is 10 upon 3 that's completed so case 1 10 upon 3 case 2 also 10 upon 3 right next fifth question fifth question so let's have a discussion on fifth question yes both cases are same both cases are same in triangle opq in triangle opq right angled right angled at p that means angle P is equal to 90 degrees. OP equals to 7 centimeters, and OQ minus OP equal to 1 centimeter or 1 or 1 centimeter. Then determine determine or find determine the values of the values of sin q and cos q and cos q okay are you able to solve this problem how many of you can do this problem chart yourself yes or no s r no how many of you can do this problem Oh, very good, Sony. Try this question. Okay. First, let us write given data. In triangle OPQ. right angle at p that means angle p is equal to 90 degrees op equals to 7 cm oq minus sorry this is wrong given i have oq minus pq this is sorry oq minus pq 
and OQ minus PQ is given that one. Draw the triangle. So this is O P Q. What is given? O P is equal to seven centimeters. That's all. But remaining sides we need to find out. Very easy. Okay, very good. Using Pythagoras theorem. Using Pythagoras theorem. So we have O Q square equals to O P square plus P Q square. So that means from this O Q is equal to we can write one plus P Q. Let us substitute in the place of O Q one plus P Q, whereas O P is equal seven centimeters. Yes, it may be used for intermediate two. Okay, now let us proceed. So O Q is replaced by one plus P Q whole square. So here O P is seven, seven square plus P Q square. So now, what shall we do now here? A plus B whole square. A plus B whole square means one square plus two AB two times one times PQ plus PQ square equal to forty nine plus PQ square. So this can be written one plus two PQ plus PQ square. Equal to 49 plus PQ square. Now what shall we do? PQ square, PQ square gets cancelled. Very good, Sony. So now the 2 PQ equals to 49 minus 1 is 48. PQ equals to 49 by 2 is 24 centimeters. Is 24 centimeters. Now draw the triangle. Once again, this is OPQ triangle. OPQ triangle in which OP is given seven centimeters and PQ is equal to twenty-four centimeters. So now we can find out uh, what is the relation OQ. OQ is equal to one plus PQ. That is one plus twenty-four. Equal to 25 centimeters. So now this is 25 centimeters. All the measurements of the triangle are known now. So now we need to find out what sine q and cos q. So let us find out sine q. Sine q equals to sine q. Opposite side is OP. Upon hypotenuse is OQ. OP is OP is seven twenty five seven by twenty five. Next, we need to find out cos Q. So cos Q is equal to adjacent side PQ upon hypotenuse OQ. So PQ is twenty four upon twenty five twenty four by twenty five. This answer. <coughs> Very good. Shall I move to next question? Now the sixth question. Sixth question. Okay, let us solve sixth question now. Yes, Lakshmi, Vijaya, Vijaya, Bharat, you are correct. If uh, root three times tan theta equals to three sine theta, 
then find the value of find the value of find the value of sin square theta minus cos square theta sin square theta minus cos square theta okay can you solve this problem Okay, so now the solution here given root 3 tan theta equal to 3 sin theta. This tan theta can be written as sin theta by cos theta. So root 3 times sin theta upon cos theta. equal to 3 sin theta. Now sin theta sin theta gets cancelled by cross multiplication 3 cos theta equals to root 3. So we have cos theta equals to root 3 upon 3. So we need to find out sin square theta minus cos square theta value. Yes, sin square theta. What is the very easy Uday Rahul ready but what is the answer? It's very easy, but what is our answer? Okay, it's easy only. Now, sin square theta minus cos square theta. Sin square theta minus cos square theta means let us express sin square theta in terms of cos. We have sin square theta equals to 1 minus cos square theta. So let us substitute here. So we get 1 minus cos square theta instead of sin square theta minus cos square theta. So we get 1 minus 2 cos square theta. Now instead of cos theta this value we can replace now. So this equals to 1 minus 2 times root 3 upon 3 whole square. This is 1 minus 2 times root 3 square is 3, 3 upon 9, 3 1 ja, 3 3 ja. 1 minus 2 upon 3, 1 upon 2 minus 3. So this equals to 3 is the LCM, 3 minus 2, that will be 1 upon 3, the value is. So sin square theta minus cos square theta is equal to 1 upon 3. Now, eighth question. Eighth question. Okay, Uday Rao already. Now you need to give the answer. If sec theta equals to 13 upon 5. Then show that show that 2 sin theta minus 3 cos theta upon 4 sin theta minus 9 cos theta equals to 3 this is the question. Okay, question number seven. Right. 
Uday Rahul Reddy, where are you? You are hibernating. I think so. So first I give the plan. So what is the plan means? I have this idea. You may have some other idea. First, find tan theta. Find tan theta. Using using tan square theta is equal to secant square theta minus 1. Substitute sec theta value here, you get the tan theta value. Next, write tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta. That means indirectly the sin theta by cos theta value will be known. Now, divide the both numerator and denominator of this one by cos theta. Instead of sin theta cos theta, substitute that value. Then, otherwise you need not find out this value also. Find tan theta. Next, divide both numerator and denominator by cos theta. Instead of tan theta, substitute the value. Then you will get the answer. This is the plan. So, implement your plan now. Implement your this plan. So, let us implement it. Okay, solution. Given... Sec theta equals to 13 upon 5. So we have tan square theta equals to this identity secant square theta minus 1. Let us substitute. So 13 by 5 whole square and minus 1. Now you get like this. 13 square is 169, pi square is 25 and minus 1. 25 is the LCM. So 169 minus 25 into 1, 25. If you subtract, you will get 144, 169 minus 25 upon 25. Now tan theta equals to root over 144 by 25. Square root of 144 is 12. Square root of 25 is 5. 12 by 5. Yes, tan theta value have been evaluated. Next, go to this one. So, now the consider, consider 2 sin theta minus 3 cos theta upon 4 sin theta minus 9 cos theta divide both numerator and denominator denominator by cos theta. Let us see what, what do we get. This equal to 2 sin theta minus 3 cos theta upon cos theta divided by 4 sin theta minus 9 cos theta upon cos theta. So you get like this. 2 sin theta by cos theta that nothing but tan theta only minus 3 cos theta by cos theta 3 upon 4 of sin theta by cos theta minus 9 cos theta by cos theta 9. So, we get this equal to 2 tan theta minus 3 by 4 tan theta minus 9. So, what is the tan theta? Tan theta is equal to 12 by 5. 12 by 5. 
So since tan theta equals to 12 by 5, let us substitute 12 by 5. Yes. सर क्यों कास से डिवाइड कर रहा है क्यों कर रहा है tan थीटा वैल्यू sin थीटा बाय cos थीटा है ना सो so, sin थीटा बाय cos थीटा टू गेट sin थीटा बाय cos थीटा कास से डिवाइड कर दिया cos थीटा से डिवाइड कर दिया मालूम हो गया राहुल सिंह सो नाउ cot थीटा यदि कार्ड थीटा इज देयर देन डिवाइड बाय साइन थीटा ऐसा कर सकते सो नाउ द टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय tan थीटा इज 12 अपॉन 5 माइनस 3 4 टाइम्स 12 अपॉन 5 एंड माइनस 9 थैंक यू थैंक यू राहुल सिंह राइट Phi is the LCM. 2 into 12 is 24. Phi 3 is 15 minus 15. Upon Phi is the LCM. 12 into 4 is 48 minus Phi 9 is 45. This Phi Phi gets cancelled. 24 minus 15 is 9. 43 minus 45 is 3. 3 1 is 3 3 is. So 3. Hence, it is fraud. Hence, it is fraud. Good morning, Jaya. After a long time. Okay, thank you. We shall continue tomorrow. We shall continue tomorrow. Bye bye. Yes, three is answer, Rahul Singh. Absolutely correct. Sheikh Taslim.